Ladies and gentlemen, in the short game sort of comp video, we're going to be taking a look at MSI's GeForce GTX 960 Gaming 2G. Now, this, of course, is a graphics card based on the Maxwell architecture, and it's a very nice card, I have to say. I've fallen in love with this card quite a bit uh, with my time of reviewing it. So, as you can see in the screen, we are indeed looking at a bit of an unboxing and a spin of the card, so you can kind of see just what the GPU looks like. Um, this is the first of two videos. We're going to be putting up another one, actually, in a couple of days' time, which is going to be more focused on overclocking and other bits and pieces that we just did not have time for today. But for now, I wanted to get this video up, which is an unboxing and performance analysis. This is another video, which is also of gameplay. But this one, will you also see it uh, compared to an R9-285, just to give you a point of comparison. So let's discuss the card, shall we? I guess that's the best way to start things out. Well, the GPU effectively is half the specifications of the GTX 980, so you're getting 1024 shaders, you are getting 32 ROPs, 64 TMUs, 128-bit memory bus, and combine that with a 7000 megahertz memory, that's a roughly 112 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Now, you might think to yourself, well, that's a little anemic in the bandwidth department. But there is actually a, a, not that big of a deal because NVIDIA have actually put in a third generation color compression technology. Now, what this basically does is it analyzes the image while the... Um, uh, while well, the image is actually being assembled in the graphics card and will look for colors which are basically of similar types, similar pixels to one another, and it can use that to reduce the data um, which is being sent across the card, which in turn makes the whole rendering process a lot more efficient. This is the third generation technology, as I said. It actually debuted way back in the early 2000s with NVIDIA's FX series, but since then there have been numerous little tweaks, but now this is the latest version which has considerably better pack pattern recognition and other bits and pieces which help to um, definitely improve the performance. Now, we're going to be focused on some of the MSI specifics in this particular video uh, as well. Now, it does actually utilize their own twin Froza or Forza, however you wish to pronounce it, 5 cooler. Now, this cooler is actually really awesome, in my opinion. Not only does it have a cool glowy, uh, it glows at the side, which I really like, um, but the actual fans don't spin up while you're on desktop. So while you're on desktop, they remain silent, they don't do anything. Yet the temperatures are actually still pretty good. Um, even when they're not running the fans actually off, you're still getting temperatures of around the high 40s. This is British summertime, so maybe if you're in, I don't know, somewhere like Texas or someone else is really hot, you might get to the 50s, but it's still pretty damn uh, decent. And that's, of course, because Maxwell's architecture is primarily an evolution over Kepler's and the biggest thing that they managed to change is reducing that power consumption that drove the power consumption all of the way down which is in my opinion a lot better so what do I think of the actual card itself well it's primarily aimed at the 1080p uh, market it's for gamers who are on a budget or another potential customer is those who are looking to buy a card for let's say a HT PC, um, or a small form factor, uh, streaming, that type of thing, because the card has a HDMI 2.0. It has actually even better decoding support than the GTX 980, which means that it's absolutely perfect for, you know, setting up for a media center, that type of thing. It's got a plethora of different connections, more than you're probably ever going to need as well. Um, in terms of raw performance, as you'll probably see throughout the video, it scores really well. It's not a massive leap or bound over, let's say, the GTX 760, but it's enough where there is definitely a performance difference, but the power consumption, uh, the heat, that's that's where this really comes in. Just to give you an example, the 960, you can get away with this on a 400 watt power supply. That is insane. That is just ridiculous, that much power. 
I mean, that, that, that would just be unthinkable, let's say, three years ago. It would just be absolutely crazy. I mean, to give you an idea, this card isn't actually that much slower. In fact, it's around the same ballpark, depending on MSAA. It's come, sometimes can be a little faster, sometimes a little slower, depending on MSAA and other textures and effects and the game. It can actually be almost the same speed as, let's say, a GTX 680, maybe even a little faster. That's very impressive, considering. Anyway... This card is perfect for 1080p gaming for those who are on a budget. I have absolutely no qualms recommending this GPU whatsoever. I've had an absolute blast running with it. I and mean, it's probably going to remain in a rendering rig actually or for light gaming. Because as I said it's really quiet even with the fans up 100%. And I did that just for fun. Just for funsers to see what the temperatures would be like, that type of thing. And you, can, you literally cannot hear it over the regular case fans. Maybe, and I've got my... Uh, system with the case wide open. I mean, you can slightly hear it, but you know, you're gonna have to listen for it. If you've got the TV up or whatever, you're certainly not gonna be able to hear it, even with the fans at 100%. And let's face it, you're not gonna be gaming with the fans at 100%. Anyway, uh, in terms of the amount of memory, I've not really had any problems. In another video, you'll be able to see us running Grand Theft Auto 5, Crisis 3, and Shadow of Mordor. With Shadow of Mordor, actually, the 6 gigabyte. Uh, textures enabled and it's still running absolutely fine that's not to say that if you're running at 1440p or above by the way there is a full set of benches in the um, video article which is linked in the video description so do go ahead and check that out if you want more information but yeah I'm really impressed with this card um, for the price range it's absolutely phenomenal and yes there are definitely AMD cards which can compete against it but the reason I would be slightly inclined to go go with the Maxwell architecture, the GTX 960, simply because of the heat and power draw. You know, if that's not a big deal to you and you can get a good deal on an AMD card, then sure, go for it. But if you do, you know, otherwise, I would highly recommend this card. It's absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, do go ahead and check out the... Um, full article if you want more with 1440p benches loads of images and you know all of the shiny stuff that you'd expect anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care bye for now